Hey guys, it's Robbie here and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. All right, so it is a rainy Thursday here in St. Louis. This is the second time I'm doing this video, so bear with me. Um, I recorded this morning, but I just got kind of discombobulated and all sorts of stuff. So let's talk about daily weigh-in. I am actually very proud of myself for not letting what the scale said today totally affect my mood, but it does make me determined to find out a reason and I always feel that sodium is a cop-out. And sometimes maybe it is, but in this case, I really think it isn't. I think it is a huge cause because of what I had last night. So first of all, before getting into the numbers, because I actually literally mean numbers because I stepped on the scale before work and then I stepped on the scale after work. So let me explain what's been going on. You guys know I'm doing, doing good. I am behaving food-wise. Uh, yesterday, I stayed within my calories and within my points. I am drinking a ton of water. I am not drinking soda. I'm very proud of that. I'm getting headaches more than usual, but I am not drinking diet soda or regular soda. It's water or water with some Mio drops in it. So I'm like giving myself a pat on the back for that because that was a quick decision and a lot of you guys helped me come to that decision that I do need to cut that out. Um, so I'm eating a lot more whole foods and all of that stuff. I'm doing everything that I need to do. I've worked out every single day this week. I haven't yet today, I will soon, but I have done it every day this week. So I know I'm doing everything I need to to better my health. And then this is when the scale decides to act like a little punk, we'll say because this is YouTube and I don't like cursing too much on here. Um, and when I stepped on the scale this morning, now, first of all, I slept hard last night. I fell asleep like 10.30 and I did not wake up till seven. And I <clears throat> leave for work at 7.30 on Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays. So with me not having that much time, like it was literally a matter of go step on the scale, go shower, get ready, go to work. Um, when normally there's like an hour or two after I wake up before I step on the scale. So that is a factor. And then the sodium is probably a, a factor too. Like, like I said, because it's always the quickest thing, like, well, how much sodium did you have? It makes me want to just reject that. But like, no, I messed up somewhere. But I recalculated everything that I ate. And the only thing that is a sign is sodium or something from the past few days. So I ended up looking into that. And the past few days, I've done well as far as food goes. So it's not like I went over my points or anything like that. So it has to be sodium or sore muscles. My muscles are sore from working out, but they were more sore yesterday. So they shouldn't be holding on to as much water as yesterday. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and go into the numbers. So when I stepped on the scale this morning, it was 314.4. So that was an overnight uh, gain of 3.4 pounds. I wasn't happy, but I wasn't angry because like I said, I know I'm doing what I need to do to be healthy. That's ultimately the main goal of this whole journey is to be healthy. And it's one day and it's probably a sodium gain. But still, when I got off of work, which we were dead, I did two customers today, it was extremely dead. So we drew names and my name got drawn. So I, I, got, I left early. And so I got home like 12-ish. So I decided that I'm gonna step on the scale again. And this time it's 313.2, which is still a 0.2 pound gain from yesterday. And there's so many factors into this because neither one was my usual time for weighing in or usual circumstances and a bunch of other stuff that could affect it. But ultimately it's not my weigh-in day, so it's not going to kill my mood. And I am sweating, why am I so hot? Well, I'm not hot, but I'm sweating. Anyway, um, I am not letting it determine my entire mood. It helps motivate me though, and lets me know, hey, keep doing what you're doing, which sounds weird. I had a game, keep doing what you're doing. But 
it motivates me because I know I'm doing everything right, except for the amount of sodium. That turkey kielbasa, I, I'm not buying it for a very long time uh, because the last time I had a, a big gain overnight while staying within my points was when I had that turkey kielbasa. And that turkey kielbasa has 3,315 milligrams of sodium in it. So I, I'm thinking it's, it's sodium. I think it was a sodium gain. Um, so hoping that that's the case. But either way, uh, I'm lowering the sodium today. Well, for as long as I can. I'm going to pay attention more to sodium. But I'm still going to use this as fuel to motivate myself. Because guys, like last, last Sunday I was at 310. I, I'm getting so close to 300 pounds. So I'm not going to obsess over the scale, even though I want to get under 300 pounds, I'm going to try to fuel myself to obsess over healthy habits, the proper food, the proper water, proper exercise, all of that stuff. And that is going to be my ultimate goal. And even today, like I, I had one customer, she hadn't been in in quite a while and she came in and she didn't know I was working on losing weight. And she's like, Oh, have you lost weight? It's like, and then she's like, sorry if that's rude. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have, I have, I have. I'm like, yeah, I'm like 66 pounds. I'm like, thank you so much. It made me feel good. So even on those moments where the scale makes me a little pissed off, I am seeing the changes elsewhere. And that's what we got to focus on. So that's always my tip to anybody when they're complaining about the scale is get your measurements, you know, get your clothes. Always have a shirt that's tight and see how that changes over time those things add up and really make a difference. Yeah. So I feel like I'm kind of rambling. So today's video is going to be short and I'm going to end it here. Plus like, I don't know, I'm going to go take a shower or something. I'm like really greasy. It's weird. It's gross. You're welcome. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Fingers crossed.